In addition to the all-new FieldSense gameplay system in Madden 23, new features are coming to franchise this year. Today we're excited to share the details about free agency, motivations, tags, contracts, scouting, and some of the things we're doing to provide deeper immersion. We focus on these areas specifically to respond to player feedback, with the goal of enhancing the realism, authenticity, and fun within the mode. To emulate the same level of drama and fun that fans experience during the free agency period each offseason, our goal with free agency in Madden 23 is a more competitive and rewarding experience for our players. In Madden 22, free agency signings were based on which team offered the most money to a player. In Madden 23, money remains a factor, but that's not the only factor. All new player motivations and tags add competition and skill to the process. They also drive decision making beyond just the money offered when negotiating free agent contracts. Motivations help determine why a player chooses to sign with a particular team. Let's go deeper here with some real world examples. Jarvis Landry just took an offer with the New Orleans Saints and one of his motivations to sign there was going back home to Louisiana where he grew up and played college ball. We have the same motivation in Madden 23 called Close to Home. If a player has this motivation and you can satisfy it, it's gonna give you a leg up in negotiations. Another example, wide receiver Russell Gage signed with Tampa Bay. He actually got a recruiting call from Tom Brady a few days before he signed with the Bucks. This is another new motivation in Madden 23 where players want to play with franchise quarterbacks. Previously, players like Leonard Fournette, Antonio Brown, and Rob Gronkowski all signed with the Bucks to play alongside Brady, a legendary franchise quarterback. Our last example is linebacker Vaughn Miller. He's a veteran who wants to win a Super Bowl first and foremost. That's Madden 23's Super Bowl contender motivation. Player motivations are gonna better define where players go in free agency. So the decision is about much more than money. Does a player wanna be in a big market? Does he need to be at the top of the depth chart in order to sign? Does he fit the offensive or defensive scheme? We even have a no state income tax motivation for teams in Texas, Florida, and Washington, for example, which is pretty cool. We're also introducing all new player tags that directly impact free agent logic, trade logic, draft logic, and player progression. Let's walk through a few examples of player tags. When Aaron Rodgers wins the MVP award in Madden 23, he'll get the award winner tag. This will drive free agency AI and increase the interest of other teams to sign him and drive up his market value. Another player tag is called Day One Starter. A great example is wideout Jamar Chase, who became the Bengals' top target on day one. With this, CPU teams will now utilize pro-ready prospects, moving them above similarly rated players on the depth chart to get them more reps and progress them faster. Player progression logic is improved as a result. One more tag example is veteran linebacker Bobby Wagner, who has the mentor tag. This tag gives an XP bonus to all players at the same position during weekly training. You're incentivized to sign veteran players because they can help develop your younger guys. The new free agency hub is where you place offers, compete with other teams, manage free agent signings, view player motivations and tags, and more. You'll see each player's motivations in the upper middle portion of the screen, as well as his overall interest level in your team. Player motivations are displayed in order of importance and can be either a positive, negative, or neutral status. Next, in the upper right-hand corner, we have the Market Watch. This shows the current number of teams that are interested in the player, as well as his offer status. The status can be no offer, in the hunt, or not in the hunt. This provides valuable information as to whether or not you want to continue targeting a player. Below, you can also see his expected market value, which gives you a starting point on what you want to offer for his contract. Another new addition to the free agency system is the introduction of active negotiations. In order to create a sense of pressure, we've added limits to the number of offers you can have out there at any given stage. In stage one, you have a max of five players you can negotiate with, so you need to be thoughtful going after those top tier free agents. As the stages advance, you'll be able to offer more players, so in stage two, you'll get up to 10 offers per eval period, and then after that stage, you'll have an unlimited number of negotiations. We also added the Evaluate Offers button at the bottom of the screen, which allows you to place an offer without advancing the week giving you more opportunities to go back and forth with your free agent targets each week. Finally, at the bottom of the screen is where you can sort through the available players each week, view their player card, target your players, and make your offers. We've added four new contract offer presets to help streamline the negotiation process. Player-friendly, team-friendly, neutral, and very player-friendly. And they each come with their own risk and reward. You can still customize your offers as well. 
And a top community request, new rollover cap, allows you to carry over unused cap space to the next year. We've taken the top requests from player feedback to improve franchise scouting for Madden 23. First, we've added more scouts to the pool so you can get information on prospects faster and to optimize your chances in the draft. No matter what your team needs are, you can now find and hire scouts that are experts at evaluating any position. You can also now scout multiple positions at each stage to unlock information on more prospects in less time. In Madden 22, as you scouted a prospect at any given position, attributes and ratings were revealed randomly. For example, if you were scouting for a QB, a rating like break tackle might have been revealed early in the process, but that's not an important attribute for QB evaluation. In Madden 23, we've added weighted attribute reveals. Now, the ratings that matter most to the position you're scouting are revealed first. For example, throw power and throw accuracy will be revealed early for a QB. We've continued to listen to feedback from our community and have tuned and improved other important areas of franchise, including draft classes, franchise hub, and overall immersion updates. We've added more than 30 new player generators to our draft classes and tuned existing ones. Now you can find unique and fun players in every draft round. You'll also be able to see generational prospects in the draft. These player finds are rare, but they come with a high overall rating and will be guaranteed X factors. This is super valuable as you develop your franchise for long-term success. With updated trade logic, CPU teams will place more players on the trade block and give you more offers via the new trade target tags. We've also added the ability to get immediate trade offers without having to advance the week before you hear back from a team. Adjustments to team needs logic ensures that teams are valuing higher rated veteran players and players with dev traits also have more value. This will impact how CPU teams draft and make trade offers. New CPU draft logic ensures teams are drafting the right players, and with new player tags, we've improved how each team approaches roster development. For example, the Jacksonville Jaguars who drafted Trevor Lawrence in 2021 as their franchise quarterback won't be looking to draft another quarterback and instead will focus on a different need. It's now easier to unlock and assign abilities, you can assign more abilities and create more variation for your players, and the most impactful abilities are now gated by higher overall ratings. Scouting UI improvements make it easier to assign scouts and create a cooler look at the mock drafts. In the franchise hub, we added team colors and logos to give your franchise's home base some life and personalization. We've also made the activity feed on the left easier to use, and we've decluttered some of the text and improved our transitions for a smoother experience. We're excited about all the improvements coming to franchise in Madden 23. We can't wait for you to experience it yourself.